Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is going to be the very long awaited video on my new piercing, piercing number 17 if you can believe that. And that is going to be on my date piercing. So yes, um, for those of you who don't know, I got a new piercing about a week ago now. And I actually got this piercing done with my mom and my younger sister. For those of you who have an Instagram, you guys have already seen the piercing and you know what it looks like. For those of you who do not have those types of social media, no worries, that's what I'm here for. That's what my channel is for. So I'm just gonna be talking a little bit about um, the piercing itself, why there's no video for it being pierced, um, how much it was, the pain, how I take care of it, and my overall experience as a whole. In case any of you are also looking to get the same piercing, I am here to help you out with that. So the first thing you're probably all are wondering is where is the video for the piercing because as you guys know, I always record all of my tattoos and piercings. Always. It's been like a tradition on my channel. No matter what I'm getting, I always record it and I always post it for you guys because you guys love my body modifications and you like to see them and get to know them. However, this time, unfortunately, that was not the case. We did not record it. Um, the reasoning for that is because we actually went, all three of us all went to a different shop. I do have my one shop that I go to. Not many of you like it. Not many of you know about it, but it is um, the shop that I normally go to they have they're known for their $10 piercings a lot of my piercings were $10 however for this one we decided to go to a different shop and go to a different person um, and the reasoning for that is because I don't know if you'll be able to tell but in the ear is actually the heart jewelry that is very that is very commonly seen in date piercings and that's what we all wanted um, yes it is perfectly fine to get pierced with this jewelry there's nothing wrong with that but um, yes that's what we all wanted we all wanted to get pierced with the date heart and my piercer doesn't do that, which is fine. Not every piercer does things the same way. Totally fine, I was, I had no problem with that. Sorry, I have like dye all over my hands. Just ignore that. This piercing was very, very expensive. Um, each of our piercings was $46.50. That included the piercing, the jewelry, the service, the cleaning, everything like that. So all together, all three of us, it was $46. So a little over $100 for all three of us. Um, for me, I'm a very cheap person. I'm used to getting my piercings done for 10 bucks and over a hundred dollars for three piercings is just mind-blowing to me that's really really expensive in my opinion but they are a high-end shop they are very known for their piercings and they're just they use really 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 expensive jewelry so i mean that's fine but um you know it's just not something i'm used to spending on a piercing for some of you yeah that's a really good price for me that was kind of a scary price but you know everyone's different everyone has personal preferences so for me this was a little bit expensive but it really doesn't matter that's just where we went so we did go to this shop and it was kind of we kind of did a walk-in um this is actually the piercer that i spoke with about an apprenticeship about a year ago now um, so we went to him so he already knew who I was um, I already knew who he was um, he knew my mom and sister so yeah we knew where we were going and we know it's a very well high-end shop they're very very well known so basically what happened is when we went into the shop we basically sat there you know waited for the piercer um, then when the piercer came out he looked at all of our ears he got the jewelry out and then he had a signed paperwork and then he took all of our jewelry and our needles and took them back into an autoclave for those of you who do not know what that is, that is a sterilization machine. It is very commonly used in tattoo and piercing parlors, especially the very high-end ones. They all have one, and that is how they sterilize their jewelry. It is the best way to sterilize jewelry, um, not cleaning it with your hands. An autoclave is always the best bet. So that is what he did with all of our jewelry and our needles, and he showed us, you know, that they were sterilized and everything like that, um, and then it was time to pierce. So basically, um... What he, what the piercer recommended is that the most nervous person go first. So <laughs> for that, that was my little sister. For those of you who do not know, um, me and her are very, very different. I don't know why, but a ton of you guys always think we're the same person. My sister is not into piercings and tattoos. She is a very Disney princess, Disney everything. So the only piercings she has are her first lobes. So for this piercing is a little bit scary for her. You know, like that's a little bit scary. Your second or your third piercing ever in your life um and she was pretty nervous so she ended up going first and basically what we did is we all went back into this room and I asked him I was like is it okay if I record the piercing because I always record my piercing and he said 
No, you may not. You are allowed to take pictures, but you are not allowed to record. Now, before I get into how the piercing was done and how everyone did and all that, that really makes me upset. Um, because YouTube is my job, it is one of my jobs. So for me to miss out on an opportunity to post a video for you guys is really upsetting to me. Nothing, nothing I can think of, it doesn't really make sense why I couldn't record my piercing. I didn't ask why because I just didn't want to argue, I didn't want to be rude, but right away that is one sign to know that I will never go back to that place because I can't document my experience there. Do you know what I mean? I am someone who really really likes to record all of my piercings and tattoos. I have always done it. My regular piercer whom I go to he doesn't mind at all and I one of my subscribers said that oh my gosh I wish I could remember word for word what she said but she was like oh it's not being able to record means they're trying to hide something and I kind of see where she's coming from because what possible reason why like why can't I record like I'm not I mean I could understand if I was like getting right up close into his piercing bubble where he needed to be but I have a camera a very very nice Canon vlog camera that zooms I was all the way at the other side of the room I wouldn't even have been in his way at all but he just said no video. So right away, I, I do know I will never go back to that place just for that reason because I do like to record my piercings. I like to do it. I don't see what's wrong with it and for a shop to flat out tell me no, I just didn't like that at all. That actually really pissed me off. So after that, he cleaned down the chair and then he laid my sister down. The piercing was done laying down. Again, not something I'm used to. I have had all my piercings besides my belly button done um, sitting up so my belly button I was laying down everything else I was sitting up for um, So yes, this piercing was done laying down again very very different technique every piercer is different not really sure why but I didn't ask but you know whatever um, So basically he laid her down and turned her head and then he cleaned it with alcohol And then he used iodine on it just to make sure everything was all good in the hood and then he took um, a marker and marked the area to make sure he was going to get it in the right place, kind of like a reference point. And then he took the needle, so the needle was a straight needle. And what he did is he took tools and he bent the needle so it was curved. So it was kind of like, I wish I could show you. So it was, the needle was kind of like curved like that. You know what I mean? So he bent the straight needle. Again, that was a little kind of weird to me because typically they would use a curved needle I mean, some use straight, some use straight curved, but he literally just took a straight one and bent it. Um, which I don't really know why he did that because I feel like that makes the piercing very, very painful to do it that way because you have such harsh grooves in the needle. I don't know, his, you know, his procedure, not mine. I would have done it differently, but you know, that's fine. Um, so yeah, he bent the needle and then he basically, you know, poked the needle into, you know, the area, and I'm describing my sister's experience first. So he poked the needle with the area, and then he said, take a deep breath in. She breathed in, and then he said, okay, exhale, and she did, and he was done. My sister was so nervous, like, she was incredibly nervous. Her whole chest started turning patchy red, that's how nervous she was, and I felt so bad for her because, you know, you shouldn't ever be scared of a piercing because the piercing procedure is so quick. There's really nothing to be that scared of. So I just felt so bad for her, but I'm just going to tell you this right now. She took it like a champ. Out of all three of us, me, my mom, and her, she took it the best. She was, she was awesome. After he pierced it, he was like, all right, piercing's done. And she was like, oh, really? Like, that was it? Like, it really wasn't bad at all for her. Um, everyone's different. Everyone has different pain tolerances, um, and every piercing will be different. She had a really good experience. Um, it was really, really quick and simple for her. Um, she has the perfect, perfect date for the heart piercing. It looks beautiful on her. Same with my mom. Mine is a little bit different, and I will get into that as well, because there is a reason mine looks different than theirs. So, yeah, um, and then he just kind of fed the jewelry through and since this is the heart jewelry there is quite a bit of curves and loops and things like that and this is a pretty thick gauge um i do believe this is a 16 or 14 i don't know for sure but it's either 14 or 16 so it was a little bit painful you know probably going around those grooves and everything like that um 
but yeah, after that it was done. Um, she did bleed quite a bit. All of us did bleed uh, really bad. So he cleaned that up and she was done. She felt great. And out of all three of us, she took it the best. So then after she was done, it was of course my turn because my mom wanted to go last. So, you know, I have, I've been pierced, you know, I've been pierced a lot, obviously. I have piercings everywhere. Um, I think a total I have been pierced over 20 times. I don't have more than 20 piercings, but I have been pierced more than 20 times. So I know the drill. I know what a piercing feels like. I know what to expect, you know, things like that. So I was pretty much ready to go. Another thing I really didn't appreciate from this piercer is he spoke to me like I was an idiot. Um, I have piercings. I know what to expect, like I know the drill. I know you're gonna clean it, I know you're gonna mark the area, I know what you're doing with the needle, and I know what comes after the needle, okay? I know the drill. And the whole time he just spoke to me like I was an idiot. He was just like, okay, this is the needle, this is what the needle looks like, the needle goes in this area, blah, 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 blah. And I was like, dude, I know, like, hello, like, let's just get to it. Like, I don't know why he spoke to me like that, but I just got that vibe that he was talking to me like I was just, I had stupid written on my forehead. So then it was my turn laid down. Um, he cleaned the area, and if, I don't know if you guys will be able to notice, uh, but mine is a little bit different. It is up further, and it is farther back, and it doesn't lay flat in my ear. It's kind of like floating. Do you know what I mean? The reason for that is because my date is very, very different from my mom's ear and my sister's ear. Everyone's ear is differently shaped. Not everyone has the same ear. Some people can't get date piercings, some people can. Some people can get rooks, some people can. Some people can't get, like every ear piercing and ear is different. So mine was a little bit thicker and mine was a little bit further this way. So I, mine couldn't lay flat. So mine was done through very, very thick. Mine was twice as thick as my sister's was and about three times as thick as my mom was. So my date is very thick. That's why it kind of floats out a little bit and doesn't really look like a heart, I guess you could say. So um, basically he cleaned it, marked the area, um, showed me my sterilized, you know, stuff from the autoclave. And um, yeah, then he basically said, take a deep breath in. I did. Then he said, take a deep breath out. And that's when the absolute hell started okay this is by far a very very painful piercing in my opinion this piercing hurt me a lot out of all my piercings this is my third most painful my first being my belly button my second being my septum and third the date piercing very 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 painful i didn't make physical signs that i was in pain like i wasn't like ow ow i wasn't like that at all i made a deep breath out it was very very like exhaled like it was like it was like that, you know what I mean? Just very like, ow, apparent in my breath. So it was very, very painful. And it wasn't one swift movement like it was for my sister. It was very like push and tug. It was very, very painful. Um, it hurt a lot, probably out of 10. It was probably an eight out of 10. It was very painful. Don't get scared. Just because it hurt me does not mean it will hurt you. Everyone is different with pain. And again, as soon as he was done with the piercing, which took a good minute or so, um, then it was time for the jewelry. And the jewelry was all freaking hell because it went in and then he had to twist it in place and put it back in place. It was just extremely, extremely painful. And then it was my mom's turn and out of all three of us, my mom took it the worst. Like he pierced her and she was like, ow, ow, ow. Like when he was piercing, I was like, mom, hold still. Like she did not take it well. She hated it. Um, but you know, she got it pierced too and it looks great. But um, yes, yeah, so it was, me and my mom thought it was very painful and Brooke didn't think it was painful at all. She was a champ. But um, yeah, it was very painful. And then after that, um, is when I started to get a little more annoyed and I'm gonna get into that right now. So then after that, we got into the cleaning procedure. Um, this is something that you are going to find um, very, very true is every single piercer and every establishment has a very different way of how they take care of things and how they clean piercings. And everything under the sun, I have heard from piercers. However, over the years of having piercings, I have found my own 
a way that I like to clean my piercings, a way that I really, really like and stick by to, um, to a T. So, um, yeah, I really like my cleaning method. So then he starts talking about cleaning and the cleaning method that he was talking about is one that I don't agree with. Um, he uses wound wash from Meyer. He said to use that uh, maybe once a like once every couple of days. He was like, don't mix your own sea salt. I mix my own sea salt all the time. Like, it's fine. I love my cleaning method, but he basically was looking at me, telling me how to clean it, and I was like, I was like, I'm sorry, but I have my own way of cleaning it, so this way is totally irrelevant to me because I won't be doing it this way. So it's, it's up to my mom and sister how they want to clean theirs, but I like my method of cleaning. I do make my own sea salt solution, and I do use antibacterial soap. I like it. Not everyone else has to like it, but personally, for my piercings and my body, that is the technique that I like to use. Another thing that kind of annoyed me, <laughs> oh my god, and this is just like, this almost made me crack up. He started getting into things about things not to do. So basically he said, don't dye your hair. Don't wear your hair down. Don't let your hair get in front of it. Don't use hairspray. Don't wear headphones. Don't do this. Don't do that. Don't breathe. Don't breathe air. Like, everything under the sun you weren't allowed to do with this piercing. Like, okay, people, get me... Don't get me wrong. I get it. You have to be careful with a piercing. I'm not an idiot. I know you have to be careful. But don't let a piercing paralyze your life. You know what I mean? Like, come on. You don't have to be so cautious. Like, you don't have to walk around and be like, don't touch me. Don't touch. Like, it's a fucking ear piercing. Chill for a sec. Like, he just went on and on and on about things you shouldn't do. And I'm just like, dude, chill. Like, it'll be fine. It's fine. You know what I mean? So, oh my goodness. Like... I don't know. I just felt like he was a little overdone with his to-dos and not to-dos, you know what I mean? Mostly things not to do, but you know, whatever, his prerogative, his place, not mine. I just kept my mouth shut and I was like, I'm just going to go home and take care of this how I normally do. And now it is a week later and I am doing freaking fantastic. I use my own way of cleaning and um yeah i'll try to show you what it looks like up close okay so if you can see in the mirror uh right here you will see my ear so here is what the piercing looks like as you can see it is through the daith um this is the daith because here this little flab of skin is the rook i got pierced in the daith and then this is your tragus but yeah here's what the daith piercing looks like um as you can see, mine does float out a little bit, but if you look closely, you can see the heart shape in it. Um, you will notice a little bit of blood up in there, um, which I will get into in just a second, but here's basically what the piercing looks like exactly one week later. As you can see, it is a very cute, very, very flattering piercing. I have noticed a few things that are quite difficult and quite annoying with the daith piercing. Now, I don't know if it's the actual piercing or I don't know if it's the type of jewelry in it. Um, things that I have noticed that have been difficult is when we when we all got our daith pierced, they all bled a lot. Um, all of us, I mean, even me and my mom, when me and my mom got our nose pierced, our noses bled like crazy. So I'm, we're just bleeders, like it's very common, it's okay if you bleed, it's nothing bad, but we did bleed a lot. And um, you know, when that happens, it's really no big deal. But the one thing we've all had difficulties with is trying to get the blood off of the ring completely. Healing time, it can take up to six months to a year. That's what the piercer said. Um, sometimes it can take longer, sometimes it can take sooner. It really depends on the body and how you heal. Um, a, a healing time does not necessarily mean everyone. Um, but you know about a year it'll take to heal and how I personally clean it I did not follow his directions because like I said earlier is I like my cleaning method and I stick to that very very strictly So what I do is a couple times a week I will clean it with antibacterial soap in my shower You can either use Provon or soft soap has an antibacterial line um, Get the one that doesn't have scent in it. That's the one I use um, Just take a little bit on my pinky and just very lightly um, rub the piercing. Don't move this jewelry too much because it's going to hurt because there's a lot of twists and curves in it um, and it will hurt. So just try not to move the jewelry as much. Um, if you do feel like you need to move it, you're prerogative. Not going to tell you to, but hey, whatever. Um, so yeah, I just clean it with that and then maybe once a day or once every other day I will make my sea salt solution and I will clean around it. 
I would do a sea salt soak, however, it's a little bit difficult to do a sea salt soak on this piercing because it's so deep in the ear. So I can't really like put my ear in a cup, you know what I mean? So um, that can be a little difficult, but I just take it on a Q-tip and do it that way. Uh, I am still working on trying to get the blood off. It's been very difficult, so yeah. That's what I'm working on right now. But that's how I'm cleaning it. It's doing great. It doesn't hurt too bad unless I knock it really hard. Um, I am able to sleep on it. Now, the piercer told me don't sleep on it for a whole year. Fucked if that's not going to happen. Like, come on, who's not going to sleep on this side for a whole year? Like, get real, dude. But <laughs> I was literally sleeping on it um, a couple nights ago, and it felt fine. So um, it is still healing. It is not healed. No way in hell is this even close to being healed yet. But, um... Yeah, I, I was able to sleep on it just fine. Just make sure it doesn't get infected and clean it really well. Um, yeah, that's what I've been doing. And that's basically the whole in-depth experience with my new date piercing. Hey everyone, so I hope you enjoyed this really long in-depth video. Um, but I really wanted to make it in-depth because I had such a unique experience that I really wanted to share with you guys. Really, really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a huge, huge thumbs up. Again, I'm sorry it was so long, but... I really wanted just to really make this in-depth video for you guys. Um, be sure to subscribe down to my channel. If you have any questions, be sure to let me know. But until then, I will see you guys very soon in my next video. I love you guys. Bye!